not represented. All the women sitting in this room share a common history. Every one had her life ruined, her body mutilated by doctors who were supposed to be delivering her child. Symphysiotomy involved the deliberate sawing in two of a woman's pelvis during childbirth as an alternative to caesarean section. It was practiced routinely only in Ireland throughout the 20th century and is widely seen as having been preferred by the Catholic Church in order to allow women to have more children. But it left women unable to walk, incontinent, emotionally wrecked. Now the Irish state has decided to offer survivors a one-off payment starting at $60,000. That's the sort of payout people normally get if they break a leg at work. Oh, I couldn't even wheel a pram. Because you couldn't walk? I couldn't walk. Martin, what do you think about 50,000 euros as an offer? It's, it's an insult. An insult. It's an insult to it's an insult women that to had, women. and you know, who can gauge the psychological effect? Yeah. We were mutilated, literally. And then we had to live with it for the rest of our lives. And I think we deserve a hell of a lot more than 50,000. Al Jazeera was given exclusive access to this mass meeting of the survivors in Dublin who are now faced with a terribly difficult decision, either to take the small payout or risk getting nothing if they take on the state in the courts. And the rules give them less than four weeks to decide, far too little time for many to seek independent medical advice. The scheme being the way it is. But when it came to a show of hands, almost unanimously, they decided to reject the offer. The state, they said, should apologise for what happened in its hospitals. The state has a great deal of responsibility for what happened, in particular not auditing the, the doings of doctors over the years, not objecting to the scheme, not taking account of the fact that it was not performed in any other country in the world except Ireland. It's worth bearing in mind that recently the United Nations described symphysiotomy as falling within its definition of torture. Now, both of Ireland's main human rights bodies have condemned the compensation scheme as being completely inadequate. The accusation, and it's not a new one, is that rather than trying to confront Catholic abuses of the past, the states here is simply trying to bury them as quickly as it can. The government didn't want to do an interview, but instead referred us to a private company at funds. It is also in contact with the survivors, and it believes the United Nations isn't in the best place to judge. Well, the doctrinaire approach to human rights, when what the women need is something that suits their wishes, not what an international agency thinks they should have. I think that is much more important. But what happens to the government's reputation if almost all the women refuse the scheme? The idea that they'd say, OK, that's it, none of you are getting anything, is they, they'd never, ever get away with that. And, I mean, these are determined women who, who it's not about money, it's about justice. So after adult lives of constant pain, the survivors now have a fortnight to decide whether to accept a payment they almost all seem to see as a complete insult. The problem for the government is their newfound courage. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, Dublin.